Hey first grade! I am so happy to see you back here on our YouTube channel. I'm so happy that you've been logging into Seesaw and been completing all of your activities. I'm very proud of you. Very nice job. Give yourself a pat on the back to start with today. And happy Friday to all of you. We've had a pretty eventful week. We had Eliza's birthday on Monday, she turned seven. We had Eric's birthday on Wednesday, he turned seven. And next Monday, which is actually Memorial Day, so we don't have any school, is Arnau's birthday. So Arnau will also be turning seven pretty soon here. So lots of birthdays going on at the end of May here, but I'm happy that you guys are here with me, spending time with me on YouTube and exercising your brains, even while we're at home. So thank you for everything that you are doing to stay smart and get even smarter. Today we're starting a little bit different. We have not started like this yet as we, um, or while we've done videos, but I am going to be doing a letter cheer today, and I'm going to be holding up a sight word. We learned lots of different sight words in kindergarten. You learned sight words in first grade. We've reviewed sight words, and we had a word wall in our classroom. And there are some words that have not been put up on the word wall yet. So I'm going to take you through a little letter cheer. And the way that it works is I'm going to say, if we were to spell the word at, I would say, give me an A, and you would say A. Give me a T, and you would say T. And then I'd say, what's that spell? And then we'd say together, at. You got it? Okay, let's try it. Here's the first one. Give me a W. Give me an A. Give me an N. Give me a T. What is that spell? Want. Good. This sight word is want. Now remember, sight words can be kind of tricky because not every sight word looks the way that it sounds. So this word is not want. 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 No, that doesn't sound like a real word. This is a real word and that word is want. W-A-N-T. Want. Like I want want to see all of you soon. Okay? All right, the next word has a digraph at the beginning of the word and the end of the word. And we'll hear that digraph when we say the word at the end. Here we go. Give me a W. Give me an H. Give me an I. Give me a C. Give me an H. What does that spell? Witch. Very good. Now, this isn't like the witch, like a scary witch on Halloween who flies around on a broom. This is witch, like, which do you like better? Cheese pizza or pepperoni pizza? So, which is oftentimes used as a question word. Lots of WH words at the beginning are question words. Okay, here's the next one. I see a digraph in this one, except it comes at the end. CK, look at that. We know CK only comes at the end of a word when it's in this order. And it comes after a short vowel and in a one syllable word. So let's see if that works after. Ready? Give me a P. Give me an I. Give me a C. Give me a K. What does that spell? Pick. Yes, like I am going to pick up my sister from school. Pick. P -I -C. That one you can sound out. Pick. Pick is a one syllable word. Pick. That's one syllable. It has a short vowel, which is the I here and it ends in CK, which is why it ends in CK, and not just one of those letters, C or K. All right, good, we have two more here. The next one is this one. Maybe you know it in your brain already. We're gonna do our cheer. Give me a P, give me a U, give me an L, give me an L. 
What does that spell? Pull. Good. Like, I am going to pull on the, um, on my seatbelt to put it on. I'm going to pull on my seatbelt to put it on in the car. Okay? Good. The next word I'm going to show you is also oftentimes a question word, and it starts with this digraph, just like which. It starts with WH, and we know WH makes a kind of airy sound, like a whisper. So what, what is WH, okay? Now in this word, you can't really sound out this whole word, and this is a very important word um, when you're asking questions. Many of you have probably used this word many times before. Let's see, maybe you know it. Keep it in your brain, let's do our cheer. Give me a W, give me an H, give me a Y. What does that spell? Why, yes. Like, why are you doing that? Why do you like cheese pizza better than pepperoni pizza? All right, very good. So that word is why, and it is also a question word. Many question words like which, or where, or what, or why start with a WH at the beginning. All right, very nice job with those sight words today. Now, instead of giving you two words that rhyme this morning, I'm going to be giving you a one word and you're going to brainstorm, kind of like what we did last week. You're going to brainstorm of some words that rhyme with the word I gave you. So here we go. The first word is more. I want you to think of three to five words that rhyme with more. Here we go. Hmm. Chore. S'more. Lore, zor, and snore. Those, some of them are real words, some of them might be nonsense words, and that's okay. We're just trying to come up with rhyming words, okay? Next word, what rhymes with car? Star, far, um, scar, Mar and tar. Good. What rhymes with deer? Fear, leer, mere, cheer, like our sight word cheer, and greer. Nice job. Okay, what rhymes with first? Burst. Lurst, thirst, nursed, and gerst. Good. What rhymes with yarn? Barn, farn, larn, zarn, and carn. Good. Okay, that's all for the rhyming today. Now, I'm going to say a word, repeat the word after me, and tell me the beginning sound. Park, p, thorn, f, firmer, f, church, ch, storm, st, north, m, yarn, y, Harder, <sighs> verb, mm. cube, k. very nice. Okay, now I am going to chop the word up and you are going to blend the word together to tell me the whole word. Here I go. <sighs> er, her, b, er, st, burst, t, w, er, ul. Twirl, n or th, north, st, art, er, starter, t, arg, et, 
target. B -er -d -a. Birthday. Lots of birthdays this week. Or g -i -v. Forgive. G -r -l -i -k. Garlic. G -r -d -i -n. Garden. Very nice. Okay, next exercise is like yesterday. I'm going to say a word and you're going to tell me the sound in the middle of the word. The sound in the middle will be an R controlled sound. So like farm, R is in the middle, okay? Yarn, what's the sound in the middle? R. Fern, er. Birth, er. Sort. Or, curve, er, firm, er, burn, er, horn, or, chart, r, verse, er. Very good. Now, I say the word, repeat the word after me, then chop it up. Sir. Er. First. Er. St. Swirl. Swirl. Garden. G. R. D. E. N. Market. M. R. K. E. T. Purse. P. Er. S. Squirm. Squ. Er, mm. thirst. Th er, st, sharpen. Sharp, e, mm. Thursday. Th er, z, d, a. Very good. Okay, now this is a little different from before. I will say for the next exercise, I will say a whole word. Instead of changing the beginning sound, I'm going to change the end sound to a different sound and then you'll tell me the new word. Here we go, let's try it. Say bark. Change k to n in the new word is barn. Say fork. Change k to t in the new word is fort. Say chart. Change to m in the new word is charm. Say part. Change t to k in the new word is park. Say stork. Change k to e in the new word is story. Say curve. Change v to o in the new word is curl. Say nerve. Change v to s in the new word is nurse. Say pork. Change k to ch in the new word is porch. Say shark. Change k to p in the new word is sharp. Say mark. Change k to sh in the new word is marsh. Very good job. All right. Last two exercises, I am going to say a word part, then I'm going to add the beginning sound, and you are going to clap it together. All right? So, this one is, there's a couple different things happening here. I might start with the end and add the beginning, and then you'll clap it together. Or I might start with the beginning and add the N sound and clap it together. So pay very close attention to what I'm doing with my hands, okay? Say ert. Add sh at the beginning and the word is shirt. Say or. Add full at the beginning and the word is floor. Say arm. Add ch at the beginning and the word is charm. Say or. Add sn at the beginning and the word is snore. Say arch. Add m at the beginning and the word is 
March. Say ark. Add d at the beginning and the word is dark. Now we're going to switch it up a little. Say pour. Add ch at the beginning and the word is porch. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Add ch at the end in the word is porch. Say car. Add t at the end in the word is cart. Good job. Say march. Add er at the end in the word is marcher. Say store. Add m at the end in the word is storm. Very good. Okay. Now for this one, I might say, I might give you a word, you'll repeat the word. Now, here's the part that's a little different, kind of like what we just did. I might say without, and take the beginning sound away, what's left? Or I might say without, and take the ending sound away, what's left? So again, pay very close attention to what I'm doing with my hands. All right, here we go. Say shirt. Without sh, what's left? Ert. Say charm. Without ch, what's left? Arm. Say snore. Without sn, what's left? Or. Say march. Without m, what's left? Arch. Say floor. Without fool, what's left? Or. Say dark. Without d, what's left? Ark. Okay, now pay attention. Say storm. Without m, what's left? Store. Say marcher. Without er, what's left? March. Say cart. Without t, what's left? Car. Say porch. Without ch, what's left? Pour. Round of applause for a great week of your phonemic awareness sound warm up. You are doing an incredible job and I am very proud of you. I hope that all of you enjoy your whole weekend. You get Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, and I even think we're going to get some pretty good weather this weekend. So if you get a chance and you have your parents' permission to take some fresh air in from outside, I highly recommend doing that. And um, I hope you have a good weekend and I can't wait to hear about how your weekend was on Tuesday when we're back together. So I will see you guys next week. Bye first graders, I miss you.